today is finally the day. I believe I have the correct hardware this time. It was actually like six months after I got the correct hardware. But anyway, today's the day we're going to finally install the bull bar on my fiance's Nissan Pro 4X Xterra. So I am going to back it up and pull it up onto the curb so that I can get under the front end a little bit easier. Rip that son bitch. <sighs> Alright, noise. Okay, so as much as I don't want to admit to doing this, I'm gonna look at the instruction manual real quick. Here's what messed me up last time. So the brackets weren't long enough for one, so I called them and I dealt with pretty horrible email customer service to get some of these. I ended up having to call in and wait for an hour so that I could get a lady on the phone to send me some more. Um, but this part, I don't have whatever this is. Unless it's just part of the frame. Unless it's just showing that's like the frame of the car. I don't know. But we're, <laughs> we're gonna find out. The problem was that the brackets weren't long enough to mount that without hitting the car. You see what I'm saying? So hopefully with the new brackets, it's all better now. You're gonna wanna lay under the car. This is the driver's side tire. You're gonna look straight up, and bam, right there at the front. Uh, I think the passenger side has a tow hook on it by default that you have to pull off, but the driver's side shouldn't have anything on it. One with larger threading. You're gonna use the finer threading one for bolting into the frame. Once you have both sides, for mine in particular at least, grab the bracket and pull it all the way out as far as it'll set before mostly tightening it. You're gonna want to grab a socket and do a, you know, a socket wrench to get it 100% once you're all finished. But you want it to just at least hold in place while you install everything. So do it to both sides. And then grab something to rest the bull bar on. In that case, I'm gonna use my tool bag. Let me show you what I was dealing with last time. Just, it, it's better now, but it's still bad. You go to mount the other bolts. That one's not all the way in, by the way. But you go to mount the other bolts, and you have to push up, almost breaking part of your front bumper to get those to line up. I can't even do it with one hand. Ugh. So. Or try something a little bit different. One eternity later. So because the bracket doesn't come down far enough, luckily they sent 12 of these washers, enough to make four stacks of three. So what I'm gonna do, let me set this up and I'll start again. I'm gonna do this. Use the three washers to set this down a little bit further and we'll see if that helps a little bit at least. A few minutes later. Okay, that was a little bit of a pain in the ass. Let me show you. But I can't even see that side. But I think that's gonna help. I really do. I think that'll help it quite a bit actually. So let's try this again. I guess I have my knees under to hold it, but so much better it still pushes it does still push up on the bumper a little bit but not nearly as bad as it did before so I'm gonna get the other two bolts in here I'm gonna get it all tightened up and then we'll see what it looks like all right and then you're gonna want to switch over to wrenches so that we can get the final torque down and final adjustments Down and we can see what it officially looks like. Even with the stock exhaust, the thing sounds pretty mean. Check it out. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a subtle... It's a subtle improvement. But I like it. It's pretty nice. And it's... It's pretty damn sturdy once you get everything. Yeah, that's freaking insane. And it's got... It's got the little rubber caps here. So you can pop them out. And holes under the bottom so you can thread in... You know, fog lights or something else that you want to install on it, but later. That's nice though. <laughs> I do like it. Get